Hey lovelies, I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant and you're watching The Other Side of the Dash. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and make sure you hit that notification button so you don't miss a video, miss a moment of what's going on on the other side of the dash. So it is Memorial Day weekend and I've been in the kitchen cooking. Now in my family here, we don't celebrate on Monday because everybody has to go back to work on Tuesday. So we celebrate on Sunday. So tomorrow we're going to be barbecuing, keto style of course. So I've been in the kitchen cooking and slaving over the stove. My husband will be grilling tomorrow. So I thought, okay, let me go ahead and prepare some keto inspired meals. So at every cookout, there has to be something sweet. So people bring what they want to eat, right? We're not going to push our keto lifestyle on everybody. So we want to make sure we have prepared something that we can eat, right? So in come my keto cheesecake squares so i'm going to be cooking those today and i'm going to bring you guys along so come on along get your pen pencil you can pause your computer follow along it's going to be great come on so first we're going to start with one and a half cup of almond flour two tablespoons of erythritol one fourth teaspoon of liquid stevia one teaspoon of ground cinnamon one half teaspoon of baking soda, and four tablespoons of melted butter. Next, we're gonna spray a baking pan of your choice with cooking spray. Next, we're gonna mix all the ingredients together with a handheld mixer, adding the butter at the very last. Once the ingredients are mixed very well, you're going to take that mixture and you're going to put it in that greased pan that you greased earlier. You're going to put all the contents in the pan and you're going to spread it out evenly. Now, what you need to do is press the ingredients evenly at the bottom of the pan as this is going to serve as your crust. And what have I found? What I found is that using my hands will press it down evenly and firmly. So you may wanna try this. I tried before using a measuring cup and it just didn't seem to work. So go ahead and use your hands, provided they're clean.
done doing this, go ahead and throw this crust in the oven at a preheated 350 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes and then let it cool. 16 ounces of softened cream cheese, two tablespoons of erythritol, one half tablespoon of liquid stevia, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two a large eggs. In a large bowl, using your electric mixer, you're going to mix your cream cheese, your erythritol, and your stevia until it's smooth and creamy. And then you're going to add your vanilla and stir in until it's blended. And then you're gonna add your eggs in one at a time. But as you guys can see, I just threw them all in here. Make sure everything is blended well and then retrieve that cooled pie crust that you took out of the oven. You are now going to pour this cream cheese mixture over the cheesecake crust. So spread it out evenly. You guys, while I was making this stuff, it smelled so good. I just wanted to just eat it just like it was. Done with this step, go ahead and set this aside so we can go ahead and complete the last step to this cheesecake. For this last step, you're going to need one half cup heavy cream, one fourth cup of butter, one half teaspoon of stevia, one half teaspoon of Himalayan salt one teaspoon vanilla extract, and one and a half cups of chopped pecan. I use a little bit more because I love nuts. Next, what you're gonna do is you're going to get a small saucepan and put in the heavy cream and 
Then you're going to add the butter and you're going to mix that up until it's blended. Next, you're going to add the liquid stevia, the pink salt, and then you're going to stir and mix that up and let that come to a slow boil. You don't want it to burn or char to the bottom of the pan. Next, you're gonna add the vanilla extract and the chopped pecans and continue to stir. Once this mixture has been blended well, you're going to remove it from the heat and allow it to cool. And once it's cooled, you're going to spread that topping over the cream cheese layer and you're going to put it in that preheated oven and you're gonna cook it for about 40 minutes and then refrigerate it for two hours and then it's done you guys unfortunately i couldn't let this cool my family devoured it as soon as i took it out of the oven so i couldn't get any video enjoy